What's up you guys? Dano back in the Dan kitchen. I'm going to show you a quick easy recipe today. It's grilled romaine lettuce. On the bottle of Dano's, if you have one of these small bottles, one of the older labels, which most people have, it's a real easy vinaigrette. So that's all we're going to do here today. We're going to make this vinaigrette and we're going to cut these in half. We're going to grill them. I'm telling you guys, grilled romaine is one of the most awesome things you can make as far as when it comes to lettuce. So let's get going. Like I said, it's super easy, you guys. It's equal parts. We're gonna start out with our olive oil. And when I say equal parts, that means, you know, if you use a quarter cup, you quarter cup, quarter cup, quarter cup, quarter cup. Get it, equal parts. So here we're going in with our red wine vinegar and we got white wine vinegar. And then what's gonna bring this all together is the Danos. In all the Italian dressings, vinaigrettes that you buy, there's seasoning in it. Dano's has the perfect amount of herbs and spices and everything. It's the beautiful thing about it being low sodium. So we just pop that trigger in, in there a bunch and then we'll mix this up. These are all dehydrated spices. As the liquid absorbs into the seasoning, it'll thicken it up a little bit. So you can see it's already gonna thicken up naturally, but then after these herbs and spices start to grab onto that moisture, it's gonna thicken it up a little bit more. And it's gonna thicken up here in just about five minutes. All right, you guys, so it's been five minutes. Get a look at it. I don't need to add any more. I would say that is absolutely perfect. Look at that. That's your own vinaigrette. You don't have to buy vinaigrettes anymore. And if you want to spice this up, you want to add some like mash some raspberries or some strawberries and just throw different flavors in there. It's up to you. I'm just showing you a basic way to make some Dano's vinaigrette. We're going to take our uh, Parmesan cheese and we're going to add a little Dano's to that to just give that cheese some real flavor. Just mix that in a little bit. So now we got a flavored Parmesan cheese. And yes, you're probably wondering, does he put Danos on everything? Yes, I do, because it really is that damn good. I promise you. Now we'll just take our romaine hearts here and we'll just cut them right down the middle. It's gonna be like a boat that's gonna hold the vinaigrette inside of there. Kind of fill it up. So each one needs about two good scoops, just like that. One, two. As it's cooking, you know, it's gonna thin it out and it'll help to really absorb into the rest of the lettuce and whatnot. So my measurements, whatever they were, ended up turning out just about perfect. There's that. We're gonna take us some Parmesan. We're gonna save some of this. Let's just drizzle that Parmesan cheese on there. So let that get a good char on it as well. There's that. Now let's go throw these bad boys on the grill. Oh. Let's hit up the grill. Cook them, Dano. All right, so we got our green egg nice and hot. Look how perfect those are. They got that vinaigrette in there, a little Parmesan cheese, and we're gonna lay them face down, just like this. We just let them cook. You can always add a little oil on the other side just to keep them glossy and make them pretty. All right, so it's been about four minutes or so. So check out what they look like. Looking good. Just give them a flip over, look at that. Look at that, got a nice little char on there. Look at that one, that looks awesome. So we'll flip these back over, give them another minute, and then we're gonna eat them. All right, a couple minutes later, we know they're done now. It's time to eat. Just get you some Parmesan and just finish it off. That's all you gotta do right there, baby. I can smell that flavor three miles down. All right, now it's time to reap our rewards. Let's get us a little bite. Look at that one, look how pretty that is. Look, we're gonna cut right into the middle of it. You can see it still had a little crunch to it. This part right here, look at that. That's gonna be the best bite. Kind of wilted. Some of it's wilted, some of it's still got a little crunch. Mm-hmm. It's warm. You can taste the char. You can taste the vinaigrette, taste the Danos, and that Parmesan cheese. I'm telling you what, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment. Tell me if you've ever had grilled lettuce. You guys, give it a try. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Till next time, keep sprinkling. Dang good.